Hi, I'm Dr. M. Jokovic from Nagarkoil. I'm a practicing andrologist at Carolyn John Hospital. So today we will talk about varicocele, especially testicular varicocele. So what is a testicular varicocele? The testicular varicocele is a condition in which the blood supply to the testis is compromised. So how does it get compromised? The veins which take the blood from the testis to the lungs, it gets the valves in that veins are not functioning. It means the blood is getting stored in that area, the, fun the area where the valves are not functioning. So what happens is in a, in a pipe system, if there is a blockage in the outflow, automatically the inflow also will be reduced. In this scenario, the inflow is the good blood or else the oxygenated blood which is coming through the testicular arteries. So when there is a blockage in the testicular veins, the blood flow through the testicular arteries are compromised, which in turn will reduce the functions in the function of the testis, which is mainly the sperm production and the next thing is it's the testosterone production. So once these things get compromised, your fertility level will also comes down. So how does this varicocele occurs? There is no proper reason because of that this varicocele occurs. It is basically because of the valvular dysfunction. This can be a, our body makeup or else like we, we get so many patients they get diabetes. So there is some genetic predisposition in diabetes, but in varicocele, there is no genetic predisposition. It is basically about our, our body, how the, how the vascular system is made of. So what do we do to treat this varicocele? Because of the valvular dysfunction, this varicocele requires a surgical correction. So I had heard so many from so many of my patients telling, the people are giving us medicines to improve the sperm parameters in case of varicocele. Yes, people can, we can try for medical management. So how does that work is we will increase the micronutrients and the drugs in your blood so that the minimal amount of blood which is coming into your testis consists of high level of micronutrients which will improve your sperm production. So we are not treating the cause, cause, we are just bypassing, bypassing it by increasing the concentration of the micronutrients which are coming to your testis, which in turn will improve your sperm production. But it does not give a permanent solution or else the sperm production also will not be improved up to the desired level for a successful pregnancy in most of the cases. So how do we treat this? There are different approaches for this varicocele ligation. So the most uh, advanced form of this treatment is a microsurgical varicocele ligation, which will be done through a 1.5 centimeter incision in the area just below your belt. So we call it as a subinguinal incision and we deliver the cord which carries that blood vessels and we under the microscope, we observe that and we will, the uh, dilated veins are ligated with the help of the microscope. So what is the advantage of this procedure is all the arteries which supply the blood supply to the testis will be clearly demarcated with the help of the microscope and the lymphatics which supply through the testis also will be clearly demarcated so that the chance of recurrence is also around 0.3 percentage and the complication which usually comes within within 0.1 to 0.2 percentage. So the complication in case of a microsurgical varicocele ligation is very minimal and the success rate is wonderful in this because we exactly see the veins under magnification and we correct it. 
So the next common method which is used is laparoscopic varicocele ligation. It also has a good result but compared to the if varicose, uh, laparoscopic varicocele ligation and the microscopic varicocele ligation, the success rate there is a significantly increased success rate of 15 percentage in case of microscopic varicocele ligation. So what are the other methods? The most traditional and the old way we use open method which is done through an inguinal incision or even some doctors they do it through a testicular incision. So in that cases they have it also gives success but there are the chances of the complications and the results will be reduced compared to this advanced procedure. So for this microscopic varicocele ligation how long you have to stay in the hospital. The maximum required time for you to stay in the hospital will be 8 to 10 hours. That's all. So it's a daycare procedure. So if the patient walks in in the morning and we do the procedure, the same day evening he can walk out back to his home. So how long the rest is required in case of microscopic varicocele ligation? Usually we advise the patient to take a day off for two days and from the fourth day onwards he can go for all of his work. So even if he is a manual laborer, he can start his work on the fourth day onwards. So the, should the sutures be removed? In this microscopic varicocele ligation, we use absorbable sutures so that the sutures also need not be removed. So from the seventh day onwards, even some the patients can resume their sexual activity. So this is like very minor procedure and the patient will not be knowing the, even the scar after six to eight weeks. Thanks for watching our channel and if you have any queries regarding varicocele, please put in the comment box so that we do reply in that. Thank you.